In this movie, we're going to have a look at the various options of the point average routine. This routine allows you to take multiple redundant measurements on the same point with the same point ID, and it'll allow you to either summarize them or report them as separately. So let's start with the field work. Uh, what I've done here is started a new project. I have set my antenna height at 1.5, and I've got an RTK fix solution with the GPS equipment. So now I'm going to set up on my point one, and I'm going to trigger a measure. So it's averaging observations, and although I can see that the uh, solution wasn't according to our tolerance mode settings, I can override that and I can store this position. So I'll store the point. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another observation. I'm in the same position. This time I'll store it and now I've got the choice of storing it as an averaged point instead. And so I'm not going to edit the point ID here. I'm just going to pick store point. And here it allows me to either pick from the screen or type in the point ID that I want to be considered an average point. So I'll store that point. Okay, and so now we've got, it's opening up the point averaging dialog, and I've already got a summary showing me uh, my first and my second observation on that same point. Now, I can simply save that to the set, and uh, although I can't show you this today, it would be typical on a critical point to come back at a different time when the uh, satellite constellation appeared different. It would also be typical to change your or antenna height at this point as well, and then come back and I'll take a third observation just to see how the whole system works. Okay, and I'll store that point as well. Again, store it as an averaged point and confirm that yes, it's point two that I want to add it to. So there's my full list. Okay, and I'll just save that to the list. So after those three observations, I've disconnected from the instrument, and let's have a look at what we can do with our average points now. So first of all, I can review the status of this average point just by going to the point database. And if I edit that point, you'll notice how we've got an icon that allows you to go to the point averaging dialog. So here you can uh, review the contents of this list. You can uh, see P dot values as a quality check. You can decide by using these check boxes to disable certain observations if you choose to. You've got the option when you're using just GPS to select weighted average, which will use the P dot value as a way of uh, weighting your average result. If you, are, you, if you also have total station observations on, if it was in this case on point one, then uh, those observations would be included in here as well, but they would not be weighted. Um, when you're finished reviewing the results, you can just save this dialog, or if you'd like to finalize your results, you can pick on store averaged. It'll prompt you for a point ID, and then you can store it. Okay, and um, in addition, um, if we go to Survey Tools and the RAW File Viewer, what you're going to notice is that you've got some statistics calculated from the averaging, and there's a store point record. I, I've just done this twice, so that's why we have two store point records. And if we go further back in the RAW File, what we'll see is that we've got uh, most of the information from each of those GPS measurements. They're also individually stored, so everything's available for review. One other way while I'm in here that we can review our point averaging statistics is back into the survey tools. There's view average points and what this will do is it'll prompt you to identify the average point that you want to work with because of course you can have more than one in a project and that just brings up this familiar dialog. Uh, one other area where you find we have 
accounted for this new feature is in ASCII coordinate file export. What you'll notice now is that in addition to all the other options for an ASCII export, you can tell it to include or not include your average results. If I have this checked on, what this will do is this will write a separate record for every averaged point. If I uncheck this, it'll only include a single record for the parent point in the whole group. So thanks a lot for your interest in this topic.